what uh, what we're going to be going over. Okay, so to finish up South America here, this is part three. So we're going to go over 4.05, which is human impact on the environment of South America, and 4.06, which is focus on deforestation. Uh, here are the objectives that we're going to be going over. We're going to talk about a little bit about poaching, um, uh, deforestation, endangered species, uh, some other politics and economics that are going in on South America right now. Okay, so this is one thing that's been um, a big thing in South America. We talked before that they have the rainforest. We talked before that they have creatures that no, you find nowhere else in the world. And so that brings a lot of what we call poachers there, okay? Poaching, if you see at the description at the bottom, you think my cursor that's highlighted down here, it says poaching can apply to the illegal hunting, fishing, or eating of animals or plants, okay? So that's important too. Um, plants are, are part of that. Po poaching does not apply to dom domestic animals, only those found in the wild. A poacher is someone who illegally sells animals or um, the parts of animals or plants for profit. Poaching applies uh, to animals being hunted without a license. Animals uh, hunted without the following proper hunting protocol or animals or plants hunted on restricted or protected lands. Okay, uh, so I think I mentioned before in the past, hunting is actually something I do like to do. Um, going on a bear hunt in about a month uh, so I'm actually really excited about that but if I were to go on a bear hunt right I couldn't shoot and I was going to South America I couldn't shoot the Andes bear okay the Andes bear is one of the most endangered species that is in uh, South America okay and then we also have this animal right here I'm gonna be honest with you I need to put the little name of it because I can't remember what it's called <laughs> but there's a lot that that are down there it's a big problem okay <clears throat> The next thing uh, is deforestation, okay? So deforestation talks about uh, the, the clearing out of the forest to provide areas such as um, cattle grazing, okay? Uh, Monocrop, so meaning like growing just like corn or something like that. Uh, roads, buildings, or other reasons, okay? Uh, deforestation is one of the main causes of the growing number of threats to en endangered and extinct animals because they just don't have anywhere else to go, right? Um, so you can kind of see right here the land that has been cleared. Um, and they also do what's called slash and burn um, uh, the farming, which they go and they take an area and they just burn that area. And then it clears it, and then they take it up, and then they use the soil underneath to start uh, growing crops or whatever. Now, of course, we need crops. We need those kind of things. But do we really need to it's just kind of what area and what places? And most people are trying to do this for profit. And it, kind of, it doesn't help either when the people are very poor and they need any kind of support they can get. So this is why they come up with um, this cause called sustainable development okay uh, sustainable development is a catchphrase for the future of South America sustainable development is defined as the using of resources well so that human needs can be met as well as preserving the environment now and in the future I think in the United States we've kind of come to the, the thing of go green right or um, you know aspects like that uh, so you'll see these kind of symbols around you know this one means for recycle this one means for you know uh, putting things in a re recycle bin um, so I think you no know, it, it just it just all comes down to being smart and uh, not ruining things for people that have to live there in the future right okay so let's go on to uh, 4.06 which is actually a focus on deforestation. So we're gonna go a little bit more into it, okay? Um, so what we need to do is analyze the issues of deforestation, uh, discuss the man-made or natural occurrences caused by deforestation, which we've talked about those already, um, and protect how the earth will change 
and the current practice is not altered and the, per the solutions they are yet to be found and so that's what your projects basically going to be on as we go through here uh, now I did talk about this already I gotta move my face over so you guys can read it um, the slash and burn agriculture as it's called okay um, you can probably go down and read that but this usually happens in very poor countries because they don't have the farming equipment to take out those areas and they just sit there and they burn the areas well some of the bad things is is right it um, uh, it puts pollutants in the air as well as uh, it doesn't it it's just bad for everything around right animals that may be living in there would be killed um, they're not able to find the the place where they need to go so the problem is it's all for profit and the big well, I guess one of the biggest problems is the people are doing it not because they're bad people usually it's because they are um, they just need money right another bad thing about this uh, slash and burn agriculture is it takes away the vegetation so you have mudslides that happen all the time so when a lot of rain starts hitting these areas the, um, there's nothing to hold the dirt back from going and it will rain and mudslides will happen and it goes into people's homes and stuff like that and that's one of the big things we find out as well when we have big forest fires that happen Okay, um, so basically the the intensive agriculture is going and putting a, too many people on a, on an area. So I grew up in a little small farming community, and I don't live too far away from it right now. But uh, my grandpa would go and we'd get cattle, right? Well, I always knew that you put you have to change your cattle from one one plot of land to the next or what will happen is the cattle will eat everything that's there and it will become barren and you won't be able to the grass will not be able to grow up again so he would rotate his um, his cows from one pasture to the next and then bring them back to the other pasture um, when that has grown up uh, so what has happened though a lot of times is they have what's called free range uh, cattling and so you see this cow, it's out in the middle of nowhere. You find this uh, sometimes when I'm going to camping up at, by uh, in Logan Canyon up to a place called Tony's Grove, which is one of my favorite places. If you haven't been there, you really need to. It has a beautiful lake there. But they have free-range cattle up there. And so you'll be hiking in the mountains, and you'll see these cattle just out in the middle of nowhere. Well, what has happened is um, these cattle... And, and I see it why I'm uh, doing there. Like they get in the rivers and they poop in the rivers, right? And it contaminates the river. Um, and they also trample down all the vegetation. And if there's too many, they'll eat everything that's in sight. Um, so I, I think it can be sustainable, but it's about like how much you put on there. So like my grandpa, when he used to be around... Um, you know moving the cattle from one to to the next is is an important uh, aspect of that sustainable thing that we're talking about okay another thing about uh, deforestation that they do is uh, some of them go in and do commercial logging uh, a lot of times we don't get a lot of our lumber so to build houses and that kind of stuff from the United States so we actually import it from other countries since one of those big countries is South America um, and because they don't have a lot of money they'll do it at a cheaper price and everything okay uh, so it is important that uh, we think about maybe where we're where we're getting our, our things from and maybe even helping out South America in some of these these areas so they don't have to use their resources that are so valuable um, and kill off the, the rainforest which you only have so much of okay this leads us to the very end here which is our final project and what you're going to be doing for your final project is you're going to write a letter to the G8 summit okay it only needs to be about one page it's a half a page to a page um, 
which isn't very much if you think about a letter, right? You have your uh, name up there and you got a couple spaces in between and you space it out. So um, really it's not that much. So the G8 summit is basically a combination of a lot of countries that come together that um, try to work through problems like that sustainable development. So we're talking about reducing deforestation. We already talked about the reasons why it's a concern and that's what you're going to put there in your letter. Um, it's a concern because of well, we just talked about three or four just a second ago. Um, what's the impact of deforestation, right? What, uh, who benefits? Who loses? Uh, does the out benefits out the way the cost? Well, for some of South America, it does outweigh the cost, right? Because they're so poor, they need the money right now. Um, but in the long run, is it healthy, right? Um, where are there alternatives or practices, and why does it matter? Okay. So if you can write that letter, this is here are a couple examples that are have been really good. Okay, um, I like how this person went and put the work cited, but if you just see here, like this is what they kind of put, and they, they write it to different people. It doesn't have to be directly to the G8 summit. I'll take it from you know if you want to write to to uh, President Trump or the Department of Agriculture or to the South American people. Um, <clears throat> Anything like that. I like how they use some resources at the bottom here. Um, you can always use the the library online, the Utah Library Online, uh, which I always have directed you to. Which some of you I know don't like the site that much, but it that's research based stuff, so you can uh, look it in there. <clears throat> All right, so that leads us to the very end with the exit ticket. So uh, go get that exit ticket. If you look at the exit ticket, I 